Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm making a video um, showing you guys how to unbrick your device. Um, the same method worked for the Transmart Prometheus and my G-Box or MX2 box, I don't know what you call it, a lot of people have different names for it I guess. Um, I've got one of these boxes and I've got a um, Transmart Prometheus and I bricked both of them. Uh, in the case of Transmart Prometheus, I actually hard bricked um, the Transmart and using the same method I was able to um, bring it back to life. Um, what we'll need, what you will need uh, in order to uh, get uh, start all this is f four things. Uh, Win32 disk imager, which is no, nope, that's not it. Okay, put that down. Do, 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 here. Okay, put these two here, like side by side. Okay, you need this application. Um, this is for fr uh, all the applications that I'm using are free. Uh, you can download this from sourceforge.net, or I will more than likely put a link on the bottom of the video where you can just click. Um, and the next application you'll need is Mini Tools Partition Wizard Home Edition. I'll just show you from here as well. So we go to Mini Tools. So that's what it is. Mini Tools Partition Wizard Home Edition. It's for it's also another free application that you can download and use. And what you will need is Droid Boot Recovery Zip. And I think this is for the um, MX box, it's not for the um, uh, Trosmart Prometheus. Uh, what comes in this file is the U-boot image, that's what we'll need uh, to flash to your SD card for the box to recognize. Um, this doesn't come up with most of the ROMs, it comes up with some of them I think, I'm not 100% sure, but if you can't find it, you just need to type in, in Google your box name and the U-boot image. The Charles my Prometheus U-boot image bin. And I'm pretty sure you can probably download it from a lot of places. Um, but when you do, that's what you'll need. And you'll need the... Um, and that's the, those two are there. So I'll just put that in there. So And then you'll need your firmware. And in your firmware, you usually have these three. Uh, recovery image. The update zip. And then your factory update param uh, parameter AML. Um, so to get started, uh, what we're going to need to do is stick in your SD card. And in my case, this is my SD card. So I had this, this is, I used this last time. So what I'm going to do is use this application to I just name it. I don't know. Don't need to name it anything. Just format it. Okay, it's an eight gig SD card. Okay, now, whoops, warning all that. Oh, so we've done that already. Okay, now so we're going to the SD card. As you can see, there's nothing inside it. Okay, now we'll open up Win32. You can either double click it or you can, if that doesn't work for you, you can sort of come in here and run it as administrator. But in my case, I don't need to work straight at the thing, out of the box. Um, click on the file. Um, okay, now, this is where my file is in, U-Boot. And then it's in Droid TV Boot Recovery because that's where I, where I extracted it. Now, as you can see, you cannot find U-Boot it won't be there. What you need to do is come down here and select the stars. So over there it's looking for image files, ISO and image files. Um, what we need to do is click on the stars so that it shows everything. And there it is there, the U-boot. So we'll click open and we'll click, oh, I want to make sure um, you're in the right to, uh, device. So my device is at I and then we'll click right. And give you a warning, so you click yes, and that's it. Now, 
what we need to do. Um, let's refresh our button. Yes. Okay. Now, as you can see here, it's got a small space for um, unallocated space, and it's got a 3.7 gigabit uh, gigabytes of uh, FAT32, I believe, um, space, and then it's got unallocated space there. So what I do here is delete that to delete, and then we're going to create a partition. Okay, so you can name a partition, whatever. Um, let's say SD card, and it's got to be a primary partition. It's got to be a FAT32 partition. And now this is the interesting part, ladies and gentlemen. You got to cut the front of the partition here and drag it for about 500 megabytes. So you got to set the top here. It says 569. So that's got to be close to 500 megs. Okay, so. As long as it's just above 500, that should be fine. And then you can drop, drag this back here to about one gigish or one and a half. So you have one gig NTFS uh, FAT32 partition there. Okay. So press OK, and then click Apply, and then Yes. So once that's done, you're gonna have an unallocated space, and then your FAT32 partition. Then you're gonna have another unallocated space. I know it's unorthodox. It's not the type of partition table that a normal uh, flash card or a hard drive has, but it's just for this purpose. Um, because I think the first 500 megabytes of the um, SD card will contain a U-boot image that the device will need to boot. Um, that's the reason why we're doing it. And your card is absolutely ready. Uh, now what you do? Oh. Uh, is there a way to no? So you could get out of here, and I think this is another important uh, bit of info. Just come over here. So, oh, oh, that's what I forgot too. I'm an idiot. Um, so what we do? So that's the partition that we just created. Okay. Just make sure. Yes. I'm going to copy over the update files. Oh, you're wrong for your particular device. I'm certain this will probably work for a lot of other things, a lot of other devices, um, because they all use U-Boot in one way or another. So if your box is bricked and got no other, nothing else to do, give it a go. I don't think it's going to get any worse. Um, but in saying that, I'm not going to take responsibility <laughs> if something happens. Okay, now that's done. We've got your firmware in there. Okay, so we're going to eject it. Yeah. Now, what we what you generally do in your Transmart Prometheus or your Droid TV MX box? I, I don't know what the hell to call it. Everyone has a different name for it. This is my box. It's a MX2 box. It uses the G18REF um, reference board. And um, I think my Transmart Prometheus is, is also G18REF, but it might have a different Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. I don't know if it's got Bluetooth, but but it will have different things on there. I don't think it's the exactly the same um, motherboard. But now what you do, you stick in your, uh, while your box is un, uh, not powered and the cable's out, you stick this into the SD card slot. And there's usually a reset hole there. Now, in this particular box, I'll just. Oh, you guys should know. Uh, at the back, you have the, um, the inputs and outputs. You have HDMI, Ethernet, blah, blah, blah. Now, there's one hole that says AV, audio, video. Inside that hole, there is a reset switch. Now, you need a pin like thing, or something that's about, I don't know, the AV, um, that you can sort of hold on to and press down on for a lengthy period um, so yeah you get some kind of a pin and do something to it so that you can sort of grip it for I don't know a minute or so um, when you do have something like that you put your SD card into your device press and hold the reset uh, button and plug in your device and you just gotta wait and you gotta be really patient like on my MX TV box I didn't have to wait too long I think I only had to wait 
I don't know, maybe 15 seconds or 10 seconds, and then all of a sudden the Android dude came up and started upgrading and, you know, um, but on my transfer Prometheus, I had to wait a fair bit, the, the screen was, because it was heartbreak, it was all black and there was nothing changing, I was there for like, I think about a minute or something, close to a minute, and I'm thinking, oh, nothing's going to happen here, I'm going to give up, and all of a sudden the Android guy came up and it started updating and it worked, it was perfect. Um, so, be patient, um, wait. Uh, if you have any questions, you guys can ask underneath the video and I'll try to help you as best as I could. Uh, thank you for watching my video and have a nice day.